People want health because they want quality in life. But if we're truly compassionate, if we truly care, we will see health in a holistic way. The body, the mind, and the soul. I've seen some of the most physically fit people in the most miserable states because their mind is not happy. Mental anguish hurts more than physical pain. More people commit suicide due to mental anxiety than physical pain. Just think of it this way. If your body's feeling really good, but you're mentally distraught, you feel betrayed, you feel cheated, you feel angry, you feel depressed, can your physical health give you any happiness? But if you're really feeling happy within, even if you're physically in a very difficult situation, you're happy. Because happiness is something that happens within our heart, not out there. One of my dear friends she was dying of cancer in London. She was a very, very powerful lady, always an activist in whatever she did. She always wanted to help people. And she especially liked to stand up for the people who were being pushed down by others. And here she was laying on her deathbed with cancer, paralyzed from her waist down. She had to be spoon-fed by her husband. Her husband was cleaning her excrement. And she was going to die in a couple days. And she said to her husband, I used to be so strong and so active now I'm nothing. I can't do anything anymore. And then she smiled, and her eyes glistened with joy. And she said, but I have limitless relevance, even now, because Krishna loves me. And nothing could take that love away from me. Not even death can take that love away from me because I feel it and I know it. And then she smiled even bigger and said, but I can't feel better than anybody. I can't think myself better than anyone else because Krishna loves everyone. When we experience the awakening of our soul, the awakening of our love, then we don't have to compare ourselves to others. So does that mean we will not be competitive? We will be competitive, but in a healthy way. Not to push others down, but to lift everybody else with us. Who's more motivated? A person in business who's prompted by greed or a mother who's prompted by love. The mother will work 24 hours a day for her child, not expect prestige. And usually the child just, if it's a baby child, just kicks her and passes all kinds of stuff on her. What is she getting? She's getting the fulfillment of giving. Whether we're politicians, whether we're in business, whether 
or swamis or sadhus, or whether they were mothers or fathers or educators. or in the medical fields. True yoga is when our actions and our words, our profession, how we raise our families is an expression of the great wealth that we have within ourselves. This may sound like something so lofty and so surrealistic and so unapproachable but that's the problem. It seems that way. Why? Because we're just so disconnected from what's the inseparable nature of who we are. It's the closest thing to us, the greatest wealth. <laughs> 